Well, we're back with Edmond resident Paul Patterson, and Paul actually owns a hangar here at the Guthrie Edmond Regional Airport. And Paul, uh, you own some aircraft, and this is one of them. What on earth is this, Paul? Eric, this is a gyroplane. A gyroplane. Uh, sometimes referred to as an auto gyro. Okay. It was originally developed in the 20s by a uh, Spanish engineer named Juan de la Sierra. Uh, many of the folks out there, the older folks, will remember seeing in the back of uh, Mechanics Illustrated, Igor Benson advertising his gyroplane. I, rem I, I, I think I've seen those before. you could before. buy one for, th I think, $300 or something. I sent in for that kid, actually. And listen, <laughs> uh, uh, he sold a lot of them, and that's how it got started. Uh, the aircraft itself uh, has limited applicability from the standpoint of serving a practical purpose. And so this is really kind of a hobby it for the is, most part. For the most part it's a hobby, uh, however they're used quite extensively uh, in Australia okay. for herding cattle. Oh, oh okay. okay. And uh, in Canada they have been used uh, for aerial spray applications. Okay, and can you do that here? And uh, here it would be a little difficult to do because our regulations are uh, governing experimental aircraft a little bit substantially different. different. Paul, how long have you been uh, have you have you been flying this aircraft? Uh, this particular aircraft, we've been flying it about uh, five years now. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> this is a two place side by side, which I use for training. And, and you've actually got a, a one person. Uh, now this plane is a, here. a single seat machine over here. But now this uh, is a two person because you actually we train you, people. You train people. We train people to fly these machines. How long does it take to train someone? Uh, depending on the individual, between uh, 20 and 30 hours okay. to ensure that we have got uh, we we can produce a safe, competent pilot. How long does it take you to to train someone from beginning to end? Uh, so that they're a competent pilot in, in this aircraft? Uh, it will take about 20 to 25 hours, depending on the individual. Okay. Now, okay. I say that because we're talking in terms of flight hours. We also have ground school. Uh, you have exams that you have to take, knowledge tests and such, in order to be licensed uh, okay. by the FAA to mm -hmm. operate this aircraft. Okay, okay. How long have you been... Uh, how long have, you know, you're an Edmond resident, is that correct? I am an Edmond resident, lived in Edmond ever since 78. Uh, now, how long has the airport been here? Because very few of us really know about this airport. Well, and I, this is unfortunate. We have the, it was the Guthrie Airport for so long, and it's uh -huh. been here since the 50s. Uh, actually, since the 40s, because it was at one time just a dirt strip. Right. And Edmond had an airport at one time, uh, but it was on a piece of land that I think was owned by uh, Oklahoma Christian uh -huh. over behind the, uh, they're at 33rd and, uh, 33rd and Boulevard. Okay. It was behind the shopping center there. It's now the dog park, I think. Right, right. But it was just a grass strip, and, uh, that was used primarily by, I think, uh, the, the college, uh, for the people that owned aircraft, mm -hmm. they could land mm -hmm. there. Uh, However, in the last couple of years, the city of Edmond has partnered with uh, the city of Guthrie, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we now have the uh, Guthrie Edmond Regional Airport, mm -hmm. and we have lengthened the runway. You can see that there is a lot of development going on. Yeah, there actually here. is. I was surprised. And uh, <clears throat> this is where a lot of Edmond residents store their aircraft. How important do you think it is that we actually have this airport here? Uh, airports uh, to any community are extremely important. There's a symbiotic relationship that exists between the airport itself and the community, uh, simply because the airport makes a contribution to the community that's not seen by the majority of the population. Uh, when corporations start looking at uh, Edmond or Guthrie for locating uh, their, their operation here, mm -hmm. they're gonna look at not only the school system, mm -hmm. they're gonna look at the infrastructure and an airport is going to be very high on their list because they want an airport that will accommodate their corporate jets and their corporate aircraft. Mm -hmm. And this airport will do it. So it's very important so for us to have it here, extremely uh, especially uh, right here in Guthrie, uh, very, very, very close to the city of Edmond. Uh, uh, very much so. It's good they, for our commerce here the, in business. Uh, other choice we had was Wiley Post Airport, uh -huh. which is out by Bethany, which is some distance away. Here, uh, Edmond and Guthrie can claim their own airfield 
and uh, we can accommodate uh, just about any aircraft uh, that uh, a corporation would have. Paul, listen, I really do appreciate you letting me come out and, and take a look and maybe on a future episode we'll go through maybe a training process and might be able to take me up in one of these hey, things. Hey, you bet, Eric, we'd love to. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you all for coming up and all looking right. at the airport and uh, for the folks out there in Edmond, if you want to come by, stop in, we'll have a cup of coffee, bottle of water, say hi and visit. <laughs> This has been a segment from a previous episode of Your Edmund. Watch new episodes of Your Edmund beginning each month here on Edmund Life TV.